Um, I don't think they're um, related um, because the long lines really is a result of the transfer of um, many of the flights from Terminal 2 to Terminal 3 and Terminal 1. And of course, the resumption of, inter of, of um, uh, international travel right after COVID. So really, revenge travel is real. Everyone wants to go out of the country. So um, these stories, maybe, it, maybe it's a coincidence that, that um, these stories are surfacing, but we have been implementing the same um, policy since, I think, if I'm not mistaken, 2014 or 2015. It's the same policy ever since our government, our national government, um, took a stand against human trafficking. And we have actually been cited by the U.S. government because of this, um, being one of the uh, pioneers in um, the Southeast Asian region. So it's, it's I think, um, when it comes to the long line, we have already uh, um, partnered with the airport authorities because we have requested for a bigger immigration area. And we're really thankful that they have recently expanded it and they have committed to further expand the immigration area to allow us to add more counters because the problem right now is there are uh, not enough counters for us to put our immigration officers. So if we, add, if we are able to add more counters, then more immigration officers can be deployed to process the traveling public.